What is going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to make blueprint actors out of um, grouped meshes in the engine. Right, so the reason it's so helpful is I can show you here. We have separate meshes here, right? Same with the stones. And it's fine having them all separate, but the problem is if I want to, let's say, let's say I'm up against here and I'm like, oh, I want stones along all the bottoms of these. With a blueprint actor, boom, I can just drag that in. Obviously rotate it to be the right way. And we're done. Instead of having to either duplicate the existing ones we have in the scene and move them over, or drag them in one by one. Right? And same with building pieces. If I drag them in, look. I have all these separate building pieces, and it's like they're their own meshes now. But in reality, they're all separated. Right? So you can get away with grouping your asset and saying, okay, we're just going to use that. But the problem with that is you can't drag it into the scene now. If I say, okay, I want this building piece all the way over here, um, I either have to move this one myself or I could do a duplicate and move it over there. Whereas it's so much easier just to go, you know what, I want a building here and I just start putting all the pieces together and do what I want. Right, so I'm going to show you how to do that today. The first things first, all you got to do is let's say, let's... Group all of um, all the assets we want together. So let's say I want this to be a blueprint actor. Select all that, go up to blueprint, click it, and go convert selected components to blueprint class. Click that, click OK, or create blueprint, and you'll be grid with this screen. Now you can move them independently in here, which will basically make it so it's obviously not like, it, it basically just makes it so that if you want them to be moved or scaled differently in the engine, so if I come, if I make this small up here, and it'll automatically convert it too, it'll move it, yeah? When I click in here, that's where its origin point's gonna be now. If I move that down, it will change its origin point, which is useful, because obviously if I wanna rotate it, it's gonna rotate like this. Whereas if I have it set up to a good origin point, like that, or actually like this, and then I move it down, like that, it means when I come to place it, you can see it's nice and flat, right? And you can do the same thing with the building piece. I've already grouped it, so all I've got to do is go like this, go like this. Okay, you can name it whatever you want. I'm not going to bother too much because I'm going to probably delete these. And again, if it's in the wrong place, like that's in the middle, don't really want it there, if I'm honest. So all you got to do is select it, get to the point you want. Oops, select all of it. You go get to the point you want. Probably about there, maybe a bit higher. Cool, now I'm gonna click it, move it down. You wanna all drag new pieces in, it will do it from that point. If you do open up the menu, so let's say I close it and open it up, and you're gripped with this screen, and you're like, what's going on? I don't understand what I'm looking at. Just click viewport, and you'll get back to what you wanna look at. Remember to click compile afterwards, because if you don't, it, it won't compile it, um, and yeah. That is how you turn your groups into blueprint actors. I hope this helps. It's really good for modulated stuff. Um, a really good example I've got here is I'm using it for crates. These actual faces are all sort of separate faces with basically just parts missing. And then I grouped them all together. And I've made only two variations, but I've made two variations now that are blueprint actors. And it means I can swap these out, remove some faces and a couple more actors I could do and have variations of crates instead of just having one asset of a crate. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope to help anyone who does want to do some modular kits or just work with some modular assets. And yeah, have a good one, my guys.